Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving! Uh, uh, no. he's, he's running. Nope. Happy Thanksgiving! So it's the day before Thanksgiving, and I'm off of work starting today and have the next five days off. The kids have been out all week. We'll continue to have the week off. And unfortunately, my wife has to work today. She will have Thanksgiving off. What are we looking at? Oh yeah, that's a little, little uh, side little trail. We'll, we we'll do that on another day. That's uh, actually part of an old uh, historical property, the uh, Gilman Paper Company. We have we have walked back there before, but yeah, no, I don't care. Um, but yeah, we're just going for a walk. Nice, pleasant day. A little overcast, but not supposed to rain. Nice and windy. So if there's wind, I'm using my iPhone today instead of the GoPro. So it may be a little wind, but let's go for a walk in downtown St. Mary's. The kids want to run for a second, so. Lexi has volunteered. Yeah, you didn't what? want to run. We didn't say that. You want to run? You're saying that we're uh, putting words in our mouth. Oh yes, that's right. I'm putting words in your mouth. So I just thought it'd be cool just to just to run a little bit like this. No! No! Ian decided to take his shoes off. Because there's spiky balls. Spike balls. Do you see any spike balls in there? Oh, there's three. Oh, okay. Yeah, those are fun. I don't even know how that happened because we hadn't even been in any grass. That must have been like from... Are you sure about that? I just did. Oh, if you just walked in the grass, then I don't know. All right, we are leaving the boat ramp area next to the old paper mill. And we are on Osborne Street, about to turn left. Well, actually, we were on uh, Meeting Street, about to turn left onto Osborne Street. We are heading into the more historic section of the downtown area. Show you a little bit of sights and sounds. We've done some videos here and there, just showing a little bit of the downtown St. Mary's area. We'll definitely show more in future videos. But just trying to get the kids out, walking, playground, and maybe something else. We'll see. One thing you'll notice when you come to downtown St. Mary's, whether you walk or drive, you'll notice all the pretty historical churches in the area. This one is actually still active. And we'll see the where it's the first Presbyterian church. And it was built back in 1808. You can see all the information there. Pause if you want to see some more. But believe it or not, it is still active today and they still have service there. We are approaching the very famous Orange Hall. Beautiful fountain right here. Famous? Yeah, it's pretty famous. It's pretty well known. They have museums and, or excuse me, well, they have tours. And it's actually been featured on quite a few different TV shows, documentaries. They have like ghost tours. They've had all kinds of things in the past. And this is actually the sign right here. You can see, if I zoom in a little bit and give you a little bit of information about Orange Hall. It says Orange Hall takes its name from the large sour orange trees, which used to encircle the property built for Reverend Horst southward Pratt. It is a showcase of antebellum life in the Greek revival style. So, so whether it's haunted is for people to decide, but it has been featured in like some ghost hunter TV shows. So there's plenty of information out there that leads people to believing it's haunted, but everybody has different beliefs on that. Lots of historic 
houses. General John Floyd House, and this one was from 1830. And then this one up here is actually a bed and breakfast, and it is the Good Bread Inn. I'm gonna see some cool little pirate statues up here. But some of these houses you can stay in when you come down to St. Mary's. Okay, so this one was the Rudolph Riggins house, 1911. Very pretty. And then right up here is the Good Bread Inn bed and breakfast. Thank you. <laughs> and are you the owner? No. Oh, okay. No, sir. Cool little pirate. But this is a bed and breakfast that folks can stay at, correct? Correct. Really nice. And it looks like it was built in 1885. This is uh, no longer open, but it is the first bank Catholic church, circa 1840s. And very cool spot. A lot of people come by here, take pictures. See if I can get a wider shot. See it from here, that's one thing, but then to go up this way, very pretty up there. Yes, you can have some water, some holy water. Well, you need to sit? No. What? Oh, yeah, some information about the church. Pause if you'd like to. There's the information. So right here is the Seagull Saloon slash Riverview Hotel. They're connected but some interesting tidbits or some history behind it. Plenty of history to look up about it. But not too long ago, there was a movie film there or parts of a movie called Dr. Sleep. The cool thing about that is Dr. Sleep was a modern day sequel to the old movie, The Shining from Stephen King. Some of the movie of Dr. Sleep was actually filmed right there in that hotel. So a little windy, so apologize for the audio. If I was using the GoPro, it does have a Definitely, definitely has a better built-in wind noise filter, but just didn't feel like bringing anything. Just took my phone and a little windier than I anticipated. So I apologize for the wind noise, but let's go to the park. Apparently it is low tide. And this is the, this is the Howard Gilman Memorial Park. Got the water fountain down here. Waterfront, popular waterfront area. Got your bait shop and snacks over there. And just beautiful views anywhere you go out here. Are you having fun, Lexi? Sure. Mm -hmm. So we're at the park, the Howard Gilman Waterfront Park in downtown St. Mary's. The wind has finally died down a little bit, so I figured I'd Put the camera on for a second, but kids are playing, not gonna get any shots of the playground, lots of kids over there playing. But after this, we're gonna stop by the Market on the Square, popular shop that has candy, ice cream, fudge, all, that, all the fun stuff. And on our way back to our vehicle, we'll stop there and get a little treat. Hope everybody is having a happy Thanksgiving. Don't know when this video will be out, but I hope you enjoy the holidays. And well, let's just see what happens. This may be the first time in 20 something years that I have actually seen this water fountain not on. Who knows, maybe they have it turned off for maintenance or something else, but that's the first time. Kinda unusual to come down here in St. Mary's and not see this water fountain flowing. It's still a pretty sight though. Ian's a little nervous about doing it. Come on, Jet, you can do it. 
Here we go. Think you can do it? Just wrap your legs around it. Just that's all you have to do. Just wrap your legs around it, and you're done. Wrap the first leg around. Can you touch it with your first leg? There you go. Now, now, put your body forward. Put your body forward. Put your leg over here, and then lean in and and put your arms on the on the pole. It's okay. It is pretty high up. I don't think the camera is really doing it any justice. It's actually pretty high up. There's no shame in it, but let's see Jet do it again. I guess Jet wants to do it again. Watch Jet, see how he does it. Wanna try it? You can do it, do it, just like that. Now, you got it? So what you gotta do is you gotta, you just gotta let go and, and grab it with the other hand. You'll be okay. You gotta let, you cannot, you gotta grip the other hand, the other hand up there, you gotta let go and grab, you gotta grab this pole with two hands. I when just, you, so. You can do it. You can do it. You gotta grab both hands with that pole. No, go ahead and just grab both hands on that pole right now before you put your leg on there. Grab both hands on that pole. I'm, I'm right here. I'm right here. So I just need you to grab that pole with, with both hands. Grab the pole with two hands. You're not you're not doing anything. You're just grabbing the pole with two hands. Grab that. Grab. There you go. Just like that. There you go. If you keep if you keep your hands and your legs around it, you're not getting pulled. All right. I think we got Ian about to do it. Let's do this thing. All right, Ian. Now you just you just swing around to the side. Yes. You're. I'm. I'm right here. You're not gonna hurt. Fall. Wrap around to the side. Can Jet hold the camera? Yeah. Why? No, you're fine. I'm right here. I, I, I'm gonna, not going to let you hurt, fall. I'm right here. There you go now. Now you're good. There we go. Did that, did that, I mean, I, I helped a little bit, but did that help conquer your fears? Now are you ready to do it on your own? All right. We're going to end our day, well, at least the, the video part of our day, at Market on the Square right there. Awesome place in downtown St. Mary's to get treats when you're vacationing or just, well, even the locals like to come down here and they have fudge, ice cream, all kinds of cool souvenirs. So we're gonna go see what they have and get a treat. Make sure I don't have any ice cream. I uh, didn't get a chance to show you the ice cream cone on video out here. Uh, Ian's got a little bit left. Yeah, what kind did you get? You got the... Uh, birthday cake and sea salt caramel truffle. Yep, yeah, sea salt caramel truffle and birthday cake double scoop waffle cone. Um, Jet and Lexi did not want um, ice cream, fudge, or candy. Lexi, what did you want? What is it? It's like, I don't know, it says rock and roll and it's red. Is it like putty or something? Like, I guess. Some kind of putty, Does it, she doesn't even know what she got. Jet, hold on, show, show, show the world. It's like a triangle, it's like a Rubik's cube, but it's a triangle. Okay, there you go. So, and then got the wife some fudge. I believe it's the dark chocolate sea salt caramel fudge. So lots of goodies in here. I'll have to come back on another day and show you. I didn't I didn't spend a lot of time getting footage in the store. I know we'll do another video, probably do a whole video just on that store alone. So we'll do that on another day. But we are going to head back to the car. Had a fun little walk around downtown, hang out the park for a minute. Now it's time to get back in the car and go home and do things that you do on a Wednesday before Thanksgiving. I don't know what that is, but yeah. So we'll see you on the next adventure.